Okay, so we're going to make a custom voice patch. And the way you do that is you load up a factory one onto the track and then you edit it. You edit the Ultrabeat voice for that patch, change the sample, change the synthesis. You change any um, effects on the output for the Ultrabeat voice for the patch and you edit the smart controls for the patch. And when you've finished editing everything, you save it as a custom voice patch. All right. Now the principle is you always start with the same type of factory voice as the type of voice you're going to make. So if you're making a snare one snare, you start with a factory snare one snare. If you're making a, um, a kick one kick, you start with a factory kick one kick. And if you're making a hi-hat one hi-hat, you start with a factory hi-hat one hi-hat. And the reason you do that is that when you save your custom patch and then load it into Drum Machine Designer, it loads up with the correct icon. Uh, it loads into the correct slot of the Ultra Beat to be triggered by the correct MIDI note number. And in the stack, uh, your custom voice is routed to the correct submix. Yeah. So I'm making a custom snare, a primary snare, a snare one snare triggered by the note D1. So I start with any factory snare one snare. I'm going to start with this after party. Okay. So here's the Ultra Beat voice for that snare one after party patch and like most of the ultra beat voices for all the drum machine designer patches it's a single oscillator voice with the sample in the bottom oscillator there it is snare one after party okay so we're going to make a simple sample based snare so i'm going to change the sample load a different sample okay that takes me to my ultra beat factory samples location if you want to you can use an ultra beat factory sample as the basis for your custom voice patch uh, but I'm going to go here where I've got some custom Rogers snares that I made. Um, let's check these out. So I'm going to go with this one, Rogers 2 WAV. Now, as I load it, watch this amp envelope decay curve here. Okay, I'm going to load it now. Ready? One, two, three, boom. Did you see it jump? Yeah. When you load a sample, the amp envelope decay jumps and sets itself to a maximum decay time the same length as the sample you just loaded. So this Rogers 2 WAFS snare sample I just loaded, it's 260 milliseconds in length and this amp envelope decay has jumped to give me that length of 260 milliseconds. All right, go remember that. All right, so we've changed the sample, and now we can edit the synthesis for this um, voice. Um, as it is, the synthesis currently is set for the snare one after party snare we're editing. Now I need to trigger this ultra beat voice as I tweak to see what's happening. Um, if I wanted to, I could keep pressing the D1 key on my master keyboard, and via the transposer, that would um, trigger this snare voice in the bottom C1 slot of the Ultra Beat, or I could put a little MIDI region on the track here with D1 notes in it again via the transposer it would it would trigger this voice in the bottom C1 Ultra Beat slot. But we don't even have to do that. We can trigger the voice from the Ultra Beat sequencer here. Look, I'll just whack in some notes. Okay. There you go. Okay now I'm gonna do things with the synthesis now and the sequencer. I can't explain what these things are. You need to go and watch the Ultra Beat tutorials on our channel, as I keep saying. All right, you really have to learn Ultra Beat because it's the engine behind Drum Machine Designer. But we're now triggering this Ultra Beat voice for the patch with these default velocity notes in the sequencer. Okay, and the first thing we want to do is we've loaded up a new sample, so we want to set the voice level here to a the right level so that our new sample gives us a, a, a nice strong output level here on the meter when the fader here is set to zero and you alt left click to set the fader to zero right let's reset the meter so this new sample is a bit quiet so I'm going to bring it, bring the voice up in level Okay, so now with the meter, it's, uh, with the fader at zero, my um, meter is peaking at just under 
uh, just um, under 2 dB, minus 2 dB. So it's a nice strong level now for the voice. Okay, so next thing, uh, what's happening with velocity sensitivity for this voice? I can see, because I understand these controls, that there is already velocity sensitivity on the voice for this after party we're editing. So if I put four different velocity notes in like this, then as the notes get less in velocity, the voice will get quieter. Okay. But also, the length of the voice is getting shorter. With less velocity notes, less of the sample is allowed to play through. That's because of this mod here, via velocity, affecting the decay. Okay, now the amount that that is, is happening is controlled by the slider. Okay, so what's happening is, with less velocity notes, this amp envelope decay time is being brought in it doesn't actually physically move, but it's being brought in with less velocity notes. So less of the sample is allowed to play through before the voice cuts off. Now, to make that more extreme, I can push it that way to the right. And now the lowest velocity note, we hardly hear any of the sample play through because the decay is being made so short by this less velocity note that only the very beginning of the sample is allowed to trigger. Then the decay, which is being moved in, is cutting the voice off. So to make it less extreme, I move it this way. Okay, now we're not really hearing much difference. I've changed this. So now, as the notes get less in velocity, only with the very quietest notes, the, the voice is slightly shorter, but not much. Okay, that's that. Um, now next thing, we can change anything else for the synthesis. As it is at the moment with the after party we're editing, the bottom sample oscillator here is being fed into the filter. There's a 12 dB high pass set on the filter um, with some velocity sensitivity on the cutoff. I could change that to a low pass and set the low pass to roll off the filter with less velocity notes like this. Yeah, I could do what I want with the filter. I've got band pass and band reject modes um, there's, there are two, there's two types of distortion for the filter. I could use any of those. Um, there's a noise oscillator I can bring in and do stuff with. I could add a sub oscillator with any shape I want and make that do stuff. There's two bands of EQ I can mess with. Um, there's two LFOs I can assign to modulate things. I could pitch mod the oscillator. I could do all sorts of things with the synthesis, right? And further on in these tutorials, I'll show you some more complex stuff building a synthesized voice etc for drum machine designer but let's keep this simple I'm not even gonna have a filter I'm gonna take the filter off take the oscillator out of the filter so we're just getting the raw sample being triggered that's it and now I've turned the filter off um, the voice gets a bit louder so I'll just lower its level down here with the blue slider it's a bit loud now okay yeah, that'll do a decent level now come on okay so that's it you mess with the synthesis as much as you want I've changed the sample I've set the synthesis very simple filter off there's nothing going on really right but you can go as far as you want with this right um, and we've got some velocity sensitivity on the voice that's it so let's just set these notes back to their default okay so that's everything done in the um, Ultra beat voice now. So the next thing, bring in the smart controls, is we need to edit any smart controls connected to the Ultra beat voice. Now the first thing is the length, right? The length controls the amp envelope decay. Now when we loaded this new sample, the amp envelope decay jumped to 260 milliseconds. That's the length of the sample. So 260 milliseconds with this envelope decay curve that we got here where it goes along and then all turns off at once with this vertical drop 260 milliseconds will allow the sample to play all the way through so the first thing we want to do is set our length control here right so that at maximum when it's at full clockwise its maximum value here is 260 milliseconds it's currently 24000 240 milliseconds 
So I'll change it to 26000. You always add a couple of extra zeros. Right? So now that's set to the same as the amp envelope decay jumped to when we loaded the sample. When I put this length at maximum, we get 260 milliseconds. That lets the sample play all the way through. Okay. Right, now if I bring the length shorter, less and less of the sample is allowed to play through. Right. But because this amp envelope decay shape just goes along and then drops off vertically like that, as we shorten the decay so the sample gets cut off further and further up towards its beginning, it, it cuts off in an unnatural way. It doesn't fade out. When the length is put to maximum and the sample is allowed to play all the way through, this sample naturally fades out as it decays. But when we bring the length shorter, this amp envelope decay is just cutting the voice out with this vertical drop like that. Okay, it's just cutting the sample out. It sounds unnatural, so I'm going to make a, a fade out type shape. Let's just zoom in on that. I'm going to make a sort of fade out type shape like that, so it fades out a bit. And then at shorter lengths, it'll, it, the sample won't just cut out, it'll fade out very fractionally, it'll give more natural decay. Yeah? But because I've changed this shape to a fade out type shape, I'm going to need a little bit more decay time at maximum length because with this fading out shape, the volume is starting to drop about halfway along the length of the overall decay. So I need my lengths to be a bit longer. So let's bring this out a bit. Yeah, about there. At 360 milliseconds now to let the sample play all the way through and we hear the decay of the sample. Yeah? So the maximum here, I'm going to change it to 360. 360, 00. Oh, oh. So at maximum length, I get 360 milliseconds. Okay, then below that, as I bring this that way, the, the voice gets shorter. But as it gets shorter, it slightly fades out. Sounds a bit natural. Okay, next thing. When this length control is brought all the way counterclockwise, it's currently set to give a minimum length for the after party we're editing. 30 milliseconds. 3000. That's way too short. Just gives us a little glitch, right? So I'm going to change the minimum time here to 80 milliseconds. So now at minimum length, I get a longer decay time, 80 milliseconds. It's still very short. Gives me a short, stabby snare, but not ridiculously short. So that's the length set now, from 80 milliseconds to 360, which is good for this shape to let the sample play through. Okay, that's the length done. Now the pitch, we, we don't need to edit that because um, we're starting with the after party snare ultra bit voice, which was single oscillator voice with the sample in the bottom oscillator. All we've done is change the sample. So this pitch control is still going to pitch this bottom oscillator, but now it's just got a new sample in. So this is still going to work. Okay, but if you want to change your minimum and maximum pitch for this pitch control there's your minimum there's your maximum value just change them be very careful not to set these the same otherwise logic will crash okay all right so that's it we've changed the ultra beat voice changed the sample changed the synthesis and we've set the length control correct for our envelope shape and for the length of our sample and we set it to the correct length to give us our maximum and the minimum that we want to get the shortness of the sound that we want. So that's done. The pitch doesn't need to be edited. We've now done everything in the smart controls we've, that is connected to the ultrabeat voice. All the other smart controls, they're connected to the output channel and its EQ and effects. Okay, so that's what we move on to next. The output channel, if we want to change any of the effects or change the EQ, and the smart controls connected to those things.